Just a quick nerdy fun fact for you today. Bloom and Grow YouTube Show. Hey plant friends, welcome back to the Bloom and Grow YouTube Show. If you haven't already, like this video and subscribe because we've got a lot of planty nerdy videos coming for you in the next couple of months. So this video is a super short snippet, super short snippet, super short snippet, there we go, of um, a recent conversation that I had with Derek from The Crazy Botanist on the Bloom and Grow Radio podcast. We had a whole hour long conversation all about plant identification, but more specifically house plant identification and how to understand the differences of plants and tell them apart. But one, a really interesting moment of the show was in the beginning of the episode where Derek compared taxonomy of plants to GPS and it just really clicked something in for me. So I wanted to share it with you today. So here's a brief snippet from that full episode on houseplant identification with Derek from The Crazy Botanist. So binomial nomenclature can be a mouthful. Say that 10 times fast. So, <laughs> I know, I'm trying to say it once slow. It's coming so little rough. It's basically like the first and last name of a species. We, we have this, this series of twists and turns, almost like GPS, that we use to, to really zoom in to what a species is. And again, those are different categories that are from a big list, again, looking at like from earth to a smaller list to the smallest, looking at this is the city that you're in. And again, when you think about it like that, like a location versus um, a series of Latin words and names, it starts to make more sense. So again, this is a, a beautiful thing we use. It goes from domains to kingdoms, kingdoms to phylum, phylum to class, order, family, genus, and species. Again, species is the smallest. So pretty much. That's such an interesting comparison. So you're looking at the taxonomy classes as a location mm -hmm. being a kingdom. Wait, what's the first one? The, the biggest first one, one is domain. So domain and kingdom is like earth, uh, the large continents, chunking mm -hmm. it down to species, which is like someone's house, like someone's specific exactly. address. Oh, that's so cool. I've never heard about it used that way or described that that's, way. That's good. When I be sitting here thinking and taking notes, a lot of things hit. Yeah, I mean, it's such a simple thought, but it's really helpful to understand how you just work your way down that classification taxonomy grid. As you can see, we just threw up a, a graphic for you to kind of remember. It's it's kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. <laughs> Maybe I'll finally remember remember it now that I've made a little song about it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little plant nerd moment in your day. And until next time, keep blooming and keep growing. <laughs>